today, what am I going to explain? Reference points. Or a holding point. A reference point helps show spatial visualization, like when you're describing things like a house or a room over here or over here or way back there. Another example is a map way up here or a shape like this squiggly circle. You can clearly visualize the image and what surrounds it. So there are three rules that we follow when using a reference point. The first is you always sign from your perspective, what you see, the shape or the map or the room of where something is. Sign it from your perspective. Never, never change it for somebody else. Don't do that. It's from your perspective. Keep it. Sign it exact. Here's an example. From my perspective, I would sign the shape like this. Now when you looked at that, you saw this shape. Opposite. You have to mentally reverse the image when you look at the sign, but always keep your perspective when you sign it. Okay, the second rule is the use of the non-dominant hand when you sign. Okay, so the hand I write with is the right. Some people write with their left, but I, I write and sign with my right. So what about this hand? It's called the non-dominant hand. And this is good for holding and showing a reference point. Here's an example. When you're following instructions, you see this place right here? I want you to go up and around and down and meet me right here. Imagine if I didn't have this reference point. You'd be like, what? I'm lost. Where am I supposed to go? I don't understand. But this point, it helps you follow where you are supposed to go. It's very clear, like, oh, this way or this way. You follow, you look for that point. If you didn't have that hand as a reference point, you'd be lost. So it's important, you hold it with your non-dominant hand. Okay, the third rule. is to use the other hand, the dominant hand, to trace. It's like a pen. You draw with that dominant hand. Here's an example. Did you see this shape? What is that? It's a triangle. Do you see this shape? It's a square. What about this shape? It's a stop sign. So you just use that finger as a pen. Those three rules are included when you are explaining spatial visualization.